emergency. Race fans are going into this year's Indianapolis 500 knowing full well it's going to look a lot different. That's because of COVID-19. The race is now scheduled for August the 23rd. It has a host of safety protocols in place. News 10's Dominic Miranda took the pulse of some of those invested in the 500. He joins us now with more on their reaction to the changes in place. Typically, the greatest spectacle in racing has over 250,000 people in the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in May. Well, COVID-19 had different ideas in 2020. The race is now slated for late August and only allowing 25% capacity. I spoke with a lifelong race fan and the voice of the Indy 500 to get their reactions to the changes now in place. Tom Hayes is as big a fan of the Indianapolis 500 as anyone. This year's race will be his 60th consecutive Indy 500. He says nothing could stop him from going this year, even with all the changes. Missing the 500 in May, it just didn't seem like May. I hope that uh, August the 23rd, even though it's going to be a very reduced crowd, uh, I hope that we get it in. Some changes include required mask wearing for all patrons, temperature checks upon entry, and of course only 25% capacity throughout the Speedway. That's what disappoints Mark Janes. He's the chief announcer for the Speedway's radio network. He says the historic race was really gaining momentum as far as attendance after its 100th running. Yeah, things were trending certainly in a positive direction and uh you know, it's unfortunate, but uh, I think the noticeable change will probably be on, on Carb Day, which is the Friday, and then, of course, for the, uh, for the 104th running of the Indianapolis uh, 500. Jane says it's going to be a much different feel for those in attendance this year, but for him and his crew, they'll try to keep it business as usual and do a great job for all the additional fans listening from home. Once we're there and on the grounds, we'll realize that something is different. But once we go on the air and we go to work, we'll be focused on the task at hand, and it won't be that noticeable and not to have that much of an impact on what we do. Both men have their fingerprints all over the incredible history of the Indianapolis 500, and they agree this year's race is going to be one for the record books for many different reasons. Reporting in the News 10 Newsroom, I'm Dominic Miranda, News 10.